So what is this new Earth? And how come nobody seems to have a clue? What are doing today on Earth 1111? Hey, it's Roxanne, Earth 1111. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. Don't forget to comment, like, share, because I have so many new topics coming up here this summer. It's gonna be some mind-blowing stuff. So you're gonna want, not gonna wanna miss out. And also it really helps my videos get out to more people. So thank you so much. So what is this new Earth we keep hearing about? Is it a place where we just hang out all day? Hugging everybody, being in your heart and love. Oh, it's well beyond that. So new earth is going to be an entire new way of life for everyone on this planet. And not because we have to, or we're being forced to do this, but because there's an alchemical change happening within your actual physical body. Your physical makeup is transforming at the atomic level. So we start experiencing multi-dimensional awareness. You're already starting to trickle in these abilities and this way of life. 3D Earth is more of a physical reality, right? We're walking around, everything is hard, it's physical, it's immovable. But when you exist in the higher planes, and that's what ascension's about, it's about ascending and merging with higher dimensions of realities, higher dimensions, higher timelines, all in one space. So you then become all dimensions right here, the singularity. We are bringing everything into this one space. It becomes your heart vortex, your light body. New Earth consists of the antimatter, higher dimensions, as well as the more physical dimensions. You become a torus field imploding and exploding simultaneously that goes on and it's self-sustaining. It doesn't need outside sources of energy. It becomes its own source. So this is how you literally become God's source creator. So new earth is the constant materialization and dematerialization of matter and energy. So it's the merging of energy to matter and then back to energy. It's that perfect moving shape-shifting field, imploding, exploding, imploding, exploding. So it becomes this beautiful orchestra, orchestra of shape-shifting grids of light, always bring it back to the source field, which is the zero point. And as you expand to these other dimensions, you expand your consciousness. This is what you're doing. You're expanding your awareness, your ability to pick up information and to perceive things well beyond your physical body. And because you become the shape-shifting field, dematerializing into energy, then rematerializing into matter simultaneously, that's how you can then choose your own reality. You become a co-creator with the universe. This is how it's done because you become your own field of energy. And you can choose what you want to do with that. And you do in every moment. Your thoughts, your emotions, what you're directing your energy towards is going to give you an experience instantly. And so we choose, we learn to choose very wisely. We choose a lot of automatic negative thoughts at the beginning and right and and then again this is how we get into the dark night of the soul this is all part of the spiritual awakening and ascension path which i talk about in many videos so if you're going through a lot of negative stuff remember it's your own stuff coming up that has to purify in order for you to move on to the new earth you don't just get to move to new earth with your heavy dense body full of toxins and programming and wounds and traumas you don't get to do that you have to purify that to then become the antimatter to activate your own fields of energy where you can then direct that energy yourself 
But some of the characteristics of New Earth are things like following your true passion, living with your heart, serving others as well as yourself, serving humanity, new technologies based on free energy that work in cohesive patterns with others and with the planet and with the energies of the grids, not against them and a lot of creativity, lots of just new ideas, new ways of living, living simply, living with less. So new earth is about completely being so happy with who you are deep down within yourself that you don't have to worry about needing to consume everything out here to fulfill yourself. We're going to be experiencing this. We're going to be living as different people and not because like, again, because we're forced, but because we have changed at the core level of who we are. We've healed our traumas. We've healed all these voids within ourselves that need to consume things constantly. All the structures of the world, all the systems that have been in place forever are starting to break down one by one. Everything is starting to be come up for questioning. People are starting to wake up to everything right now. All the stuff going on. People can't hide anymore because when light is literally brought in at a high frequency level, our actual energetic field changes. Our actual physical body makeup changes. And we start becoming activated on multiple DNA strands beyond the double helix. So, and again, I talk about a lot of this stuff in my hidden, your hidden reality exposed. Make sure you watch that because I talk about a lot more of these dimensions and things in that video. But just know that the fact that everything out there is breaking down and in your own life too, because this happens on every single level, the level of the atom, the level of your cell, the level of your physical body, the level of your life, the level of the planet, the solar system, right? This is happening on every level. This massive paradigm shift from duality and a polarized way of existing and experiencing life as you are separate from other. Everything is merging. We're going to be experiencing the oneness. So the, the fact that you actually start experiencing your reality from the point of the one, the great of everything that exists, source, God, creator, means that you act different. You'll become different. So it's not going to be something that we have to do. It's going to be something that we become. And so society changes because we change at the core level, which is why your entire life seems to be changing right now in chaos, breaking down. You seem to be changing your perspective on things. You're becoming a different person. You're, you're growing as a person or you're purging, which makes you, you know, emotional. You might be breaking down. So all of that normal because Everything has to come to a halt before the new can be created. So it's just like a train going down the track. You can't just all of a sudden start turning around and start going the other way. Immediately, it has to come to a stop. Society has to come to a crumbling stop, somewhat. But we don't have to be in fear because we're gonna be guided to where we need to be to what, what we need to be doing well before things start really breaking down. So, and it's also not going to be some zombie apocalypse or doomsday thing where we're all running around killing each other for the last resources. Remember, it's changing because we have changed. We're becoming a more balanced person, living more in our heart and less in our head. We're going to be the ones more in balance, which means the external will reflect that. So all the different corporations or systems or structures that are based on 
anything but balance. All of these systems that are based on corruption or greed, everything that is not of the light, of purity, that is not helping other as well as oneself, will be breaking down further and further. All of these huge corporations, top-down structures, governments, will continue to be disclosed so they can then be transformed into something new. At the core level, something totally different than what we have right now, on all levels. Now, everything that we have known in this society will be completely transformed over the next coming years. And not decades, but months and years. So it's already happening, right? We're already seeing the breaking down of systems, the exposure of things, disclosure. We're already feeling that need for change within ourselves and society. We're at the end of wanting what's been going down in the world for not just the past year, but forever. So we look around the world and nothing reflects the way that we feel inside as the average person. Everything is wrong, right? We look around and every single thing that we do in life is the opposite of what we feel should be done. The dirty technologies, the way food is grown, the way that forests are just cut down. We constantly work and work and work and never get ahead. Half the populations of the world don't even have enough to eat and don't have clean drinking water. So it is just so opposite. This world is the opposite of what we actually want for, for the future. And that's really why New Earth is here. It's here and so we are changing and now realizing that everything out here is completely unaligned. And it's ridiculous. Whereas before, we may not have even cared or noticed. So that's what happens when you raise your vibration, when you get more aware, more consciousness. You're able to see something from a better perspective, from a more zero point perspective, from a more being in balance, being able to see the whole, the whole picture. Not just seeing something from your busy lifestyle perspective that Oh, you don't have time to worry about those kind of things. Well, they come up and you start seeing them and you make time to see what needs to be seen. And right now, none of us are happy with the way that the world is on every single level. And it's been going on, like I said, well longer than the past year. We are demanding something different. We are changing at our literally atomic structure. So we can then now create something that also matches in alignment with who we really are. As an individual, as a community, as a species, as a planet. New Earth is here and it's going to be bringing us massive new technologies. We can also call this the Age of Aquarius. These two full moons, we can think of this as the Aquarius portal for the next month. Really a jump start into these new energies, new age, where people are going to be feeling like they had enough is enough of the old. And they're going to be wanting to make that change in their life. Things that need to be changed in their own personal life and in the world and in the physical body. It's all levels. Remember that. So new earth is where we live in alignment with our truth. We get to the point where we can no longer keep living this life, this working this job, living in this city that's just so noisy and so chaotic. We get to the point where we're just done with this relationship, done with this old habit. So we change so much within that change needs to be, needs to be reflected on the outside. So we have massive transformation happening in a very short period of time. And we're seeing the breakdown because we're 
breaking down all the old 3D structures that are based on separation, that are based on being a victim to some outside force, or relying upon some outside anything as truth, and truth comes within yourself. And we're all going to be starting to wake up to this. So we are literally going to be going through the Great Awakening over the next couple of years. The entire world will be waking up, not just the few. It's going to be amazing. Of course, we're going to be seeing so many things shifting, so things will get chaotic. How come nobody seems to have a clue? You look around our friends and family, everyone out there in the world doesn't have a clue that we are going through a massive paradigm shift into a new world, an entire new energy, quantum experience where we are going to be experiencing everything on multi-dimensional levels, well beyond our old human life. How come nobody understands that? How come nobody sees that? New Earth is a higher frequency. The reason why most people don't have a clue that New Earth is here, there's two huge reasons. Number one is their vibration is too low. They eat foods that bring their vibration down. They have a lifestyle that brings their vibration down. They constantly are run by their emotions or their thoughts, their negative thoughts, which brings their vibration down. See a pattern? So we, we have been programmed on every single level of our being to constantly be in the state of fight or flight, of density, to be worried about something, to be thinking about the next thing happening, to be worrying about making enough money to pay the bills. Now you're upset because someone pissed you off. Now you're not getting your way, so you're upset. So now someone cuts you off in traffic so you have a freak out, right? It, it's an entire program from the second you wake up until you go to bed. You are in this rat race constantly just run by your own negative emotions and thoughts. And again, these are just reflected because you have stuck emotions in you. So that's why we have these negative thoughts constantly or these negative feelings of anxiety or anger, or rage, or fear. It's because you're holding energy inside yourself from a past trauma, from something else that happens. So every time that something similar happens, you're triggered. And right away, that flares up in you. So that's what we do to heal ourselves. So first we wake up, now we need to do the inner work. Now we get rid of all these constantly negative thoughts that are going. Now we're no longer constantly in that fight or flight or feeling emotional. Now we can take back our power. We're no longer a victim to outside forces. Right? So there's so many different reasons. Most people just have to constantly spend all of their effort just trying to get by. So of course there's not one second that they can put towards something that really empowers them. So most people are so stuck in those programmings from childhood, from past lives. It's, it's all of this running around trying to avoid things, trying to make sure that this doesn't happen, right? That's living with our wounds, coming from our traumas instead of coming from your soul. That is why we have a world the way it is. You've given away our power. We're going to be reconnecting back to our soul back to source, back to all levels of ourself. You are the entire universe, and I have this in many videos, and I'm not exaggerating, the entire universe is inside you. This entire thing is a virtual reality hologram. You get to make up the rules. You get to change the game. It's all a matter of you. And of course, people's lifestyles, right? A lot of people drink, a lot of people smoke cigarettes, eat food that is just pure chemicals. You have to realize that we literally live in a world trying to make you sick and trying to make you need to run out to consume something, to buy something, to keep the economy going, to make these corporations a lot of money. 
So that's why no one has a clue that new earth is here because their vibration is so low that all they experience out there is the negativity. And then they consume more negativity in the form of the media or, you know, fear-based movies or TV shows or habits, right? So it's an entire system to keep you distracted, to keep you vibrating low so you spend more money and get yourself more sick than spend more money and to keep you away from knowing that you are God being here in a, in a body to literally live out your soul mission, whatever that is. And it's not working this job because you have to. And it's not going through the motions, you know, staying busy on Instagram or Facebook because you're bored. We are meant to live out our soul missions. And this is why sometimes it's very overwhelming. Ascension can be very difficult because we are literally activating and moving into a more expanded consciousness and more expanded fields layer by layer. So we end up feeling all of this extra stuff that we never felt before, as well as your body is recoding itself and removing density, unwinding all of this programming, everything that's ever happened in the history of your soul. This is how big this is on every level. So ascension can be very overwhelming, which is why we go through these ascension symptoms. We go through these expansive moments of, you know, where we feel like we're going crazy, where we're freaking out, where, you know, the whole world is moving and shape shifting and is different and we can't figure out why. And it's scary because no one wants to change, but this is also what happens. It makes us change. So it's very difficult to go back to our old life and keep doing the same thing, right? Hanging out with the same people, going to work, going to the grocery store. All these different routines seem just so weird and overwhelming. You can't handle the energies. You can't be bothered with it. You would rather do anything else than this old routine. You're just done with it. That's the old you now when you come into this greater awareness. You start changing because you have to. You have to now match the person you are inside because the person you are inside has now changed. So that's why New Earth is coming and it's coming no matter what because we are in Ascension timelines. Gaia, Mother Earth, our planet has chosen to ascend we are in the cosmic cycle of rebirth, death and rebirth cycles over and over to purification. So it's happening. There's no stopping it. We can't have just a couple guys doing these things to try to th think that they can stop this from happening. This is the cycles of the entire cosmos, the universe. I think a couple dudes are gonna stop this. It ain't happening. So we have to attune ourselves to also raise our vibration to now match that of the earth, of the energies coming in. We have to come up. We have to level up. And if you're watching this video, you're going to be one of the way showers, leaders, teachers in the world, helping other people, maybe healing other people, or inventing some technology or something because... Most people aren't really at the point where they are caring about changing yet. Because you have to really hit that rock bottom. That rock bottom has to happen in order for us to want to change. And that's why when we start waking up and we start gaining this multidimensionality, perceiving other dimensions and other world, worlds, other realities, energies overtaking our life the antimatter realms it's very hard to go back to the same old life and that's really why also why old earth is crumbling because we have so many people now checking out done with this 
they've changed beyond that. And so they're actually stepping out of these old realities. So less and less people are in these old timelines that are destructive or negative. There's less people in them over and over and over every day that goes by. More people level up, more people wake up. Also, some people cross over, right? There's all different ways of people exiting these timelines that are literally dissolving and going to be merging with the whole. Now we can recreate the world that we want. We have now the building blocks. We have the energy without all this other energy wasted or working against the whole of the system, right? So we have to realize that we are one big system. This is, entire planet is one big organism. We are the cells, you know, some people can call us the bacteria. We are the cells on the body of earth. And it keeps going up from there macrocosmically. There is no end. Everything is a constant state of expansion and contraction. And that's all there is. We are spiraling up the spiral or down. There is no ending. There is no we are physical stagnant sitting here on a planet. We are already existing in new earth. Parts of you already exist in new earth. The parts of you that are happy and blissful and love having fun and love doing new things and adventure and giving to others. All these parts of yourself are already existing in new earth. Why don't you join them? Why don't you join all the rest of you that's already having fun, living in bliss, living and co-creating with the universe what they want to in every moment instead of just allowing themselves to be pushed around by all the forces of the universe, the system. We create what we want. Instead of watching everything burn, we create the new on the rubble. We don't have to focus on the old. Who cares about the old? Who cares about all the stuff that's wrong? You're here to recreate the new. And we start creating the new you start living more and more and more, stepping into new earth. You start stepping into new earth more and more and more until eventually not just parts of you are existing in new earth, all of you is. And then things become magical and crazy and wonderful. You're probably already getting glimpses of that already. And again, if you want to watch my video, glitches and synchronicities in the matrix i have that video out i put out last week that i talk about a lot of weird stuff and why it happens so it's time for you to join all the parts of you that are already parting it up having a blast flowing with the universe in complete blissed out love 24 7 in new earth come on down let's have some fun Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please like it, comment. Don't forget to share it with everybody. Really, let's try to spread the light. And subscribe, hit the bell. I'm Roxanne. I'm talking about so many new videos coming up very soon. This is Earth 1111. Thank you. Bye-bye.